So if you guys watch my last pig hunting video, you know it is, uh, well, we got a pig problem around here. Been out about a week. I went up to Flares, did, uh, did some Guggen videos. We did a bunch of different hunting. It was awesome. And I kept getting trail cam picks while I was gone. And I came back, uh, I kind of got in late last night, just went to do a little, uh, little scouting. Saw a big group of pigs, like 20 of them. I kind of lost them. And then I got about 50 yards from my house and there they were. They were just all over the place. They're a problem and hopefully we're gonna be the solution tonight. Uh, I mean, one of these hunts, I'm gonna get them. Uh, we're gonna take the CP28 night mode equipped and uh, we're gonna take a big blade as well. Big old Marauder blade. They start swiping at my ankles. They're gonna have to go through some flying blades and then some, some big blades. Just walking in. The amount of tracks back here is insane right now. Just after a fresh rain. Yeah, this is just a couple spots. There's some deer in there mixed, but that's pig. Obviously a herd. Coming through this game trail right here. Another bigger pig track right there. These are all fresh. This is where they came through last night. Oh, we should see a bunch of deer too. But these pigs are gonna be out and moving. Last night it was all overcast, sloppy, windy. It's nice and calm, so I'll be able to hear them tonight. I couldn't hear anything last night. It was pretty creepy. I like to be able to hear the hogs coming, hear them squealing, do a stock. I don't think sitting in the tree is the move just because they move so much. I'm gonna have to get real lucky with the spot. But down on the ground, got less field of vision, but I'm able to see Move to them. We're gonna walk down by this lake area. See if there's anything down there first. Big tracks. This is the stuff they're sleeping in. And it is thicker than Lizzo. So you ain't gonna find them. They've gotta come out of that stuff. Bit of an update here. Um, that's me clenching right there. I've got the sickness, whatever it is, the whole family got. Hang on. This could be Flyer's dead buck. And I have the, the 
diarrhea is he's it's uh it's going down stuff's happening both ends of the spectrum here so I'm gonna say I've got 30 minutes until the porcelain needs to be close danger close but you have to take a pause on the big video they have to be continued because I'm telling you what we are about two two little farts away from having no more room anyway that's enough of that I'm gonna put the camera back on my head hopefully some pigs step out soon because I'm not gonna last long I was hugging porcelain for two days. It has rained since then. And I think these pigs are going to be coming out a little earlier tonight. So, I don't wish the sickness I had on anybody. And I'm glad to be back out here hunting now. And hopefully we get it done tonight. If not, I am taking the bow to the deer lease. We're getting it done there. I'm just so amped up to put a modern arrow through an animal. Uh, fresh, freshies, fresh tracks. Yeah. Holy, there's a buck running right at me. suppose that the rut is on maybe oh my gosh that guy about ran into my lap insane oh my god I should be deer hunting right now and I will I will be soon There's no doubt in my mind, the pigs live right here where I'm standing. It's fresh. That was last night. This whole area is torn up and it is thick. So, I'm just wondering, should I make a stock into that? Would you do that? Let me know in the comments. I know they're in there. But it's like, I'm either gonna flush them out and maybe get a shot, or they're just gonna like run right at me. Cause there's not a whole lot of places to go if I'm walking on the trail. This is the 
bedroom. Tons of tracks. Grass is all laid down in here. I've come way back here, farther than I, than I feel comfortable. I've got about 20 minutes until it's going to start getting dark. I'm probably going to turn around, but I had no idea there was just this much thick brush all the way back here. They got a lot of hiding places, so I feel a lot more comfortable next to the open fields. Just feel like a pig could pop out anywhere right here. Turned around. I've never gotten turned around like this. I found a little creek bed. I'm in freaking pig zone. I'm following some large cottonwood trees that I know. Oh, just lost my release. That's always fun. At this point, I'm just following some cottonwood trees I know lead into the deep woods. We're not going to lead into the lake. Oh my god, it's almost dark. Just on a freaking pig game trail. It's about to be dark out here in the thickness. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't know if I'm going just super deep or.
these are going, that's good, yeah. I got back in the woods with them and they were pretty much where I thought they were gonna be I actually passed them going in not like passed them close but I passed like where they were and I came back a little deeper in the spot and then they were back there and I got turned around I got a little scared not gonna lie I was just thinking about it I'm not gonna get out of here it's gonna be dark and then I'm gonna be dealing with you guys couldn't hear it, but this pig was like chomping. It was clacking its teeth. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a nasty battle. So I'm glad I'm out. I'm kinda in the open area right now. And uh <clears throat> of course whitetail running around everywhere. Anyway, we'll see if we can get one to come out. They just love staying in that thick stuff till it's dark. Fresh morning at the tree house, no pig down. I wake up this morning, I come out here though, and uh, pig was in the yard last night. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, they're just everywhere, man, everywhere. Oh, God. I mean, I'm sure if I stay out there all night, yes, I'll get one. God, I still got the bubble guts. And, y'all, when I'm seeing a deer just run right at me, it's time to head to deer camp. I'm sure a lot of you get get in this this mode early in the season. You're like, ah, oh, I got time. I got time. I got time. And then family stuff comes up, work stuff comes up, then next thing you know, you're late in the season and you've got like no deer or one deer, you know, you need to get some brown down. I'm just gonna vlog my daily experience this week. Um, just showing you what happens. Nothing may happen. Like the last couple times I've gone pig hunting. I mean, it's exciting, you know, get close to them, get some grunts, um, got deer running at me and stuff like that. But, um, you know, you don't always get something down. There's there's things that build up. There's things that that happen in between that I think are interesting, and uh, I think you will find interesting as well. All right, out with the fishing this week. In with the hunting. Even through crappie baits, which are dropping this month, by the way. Big cooler for the bodies. Canvas cutter sleep system. Optics and meat sacks. Bucks fanny, vinyl harness with pistol holster. One of those pesky little snooters. Pack, always gotta have one. Oh, deer camp tools, tree climbing system. Low light bow. Tree bow. 308 sleeper. Told you, we're getting some brown down. Jackery power station. Almost everything. Fleece blanket from home, just to give those little creature comforts. And we are going to be set up. There we go. Let's rock and roll. All right, friends, we are packed up, loaded for bear, and we are going to be going ham. Literally, ham on the hogs, we're going after deer. Uh, I've got a lot of projectiles that are uh, gonna be flinging this week. I'm not gonna be holding much back. I may a little for a buck, just on buck watch, trying to do some rattling, trying to get some bigger bucks. It's my heater for the house, it's cold. 
apologize for the extra noise. If you want to stay tuned for what happens next, I will see you on the other side of the trigger. That sounded bad. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button for the great outdoors. And I will see you in the woods on the next one.